we can make this a three part episode because there's so much to talk about, but I know you're busy and I'm going to ask you one quick, 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 quick question. And I have it over here written down. Who was your hardest opponent as a batsman facing you? Ian. Me? <laughs> yeah, Curly, Curly doesn't need to answer that. <laughs> he doesn't have anyone in that category. Really. <laughs> um, I, I found... I've always said this, this is on public record, that the times that I played against Sachin Tendulkar, it was, I found him to be, on the one hand, the most difficult batsman to bowl to because he could he could put away your good balls. Deliveries that I would use short of a length at a batsman to tuck him up into dry up runs, Sachin could punch it off the back foot down the ground through the offside or pull it through the onside. So to me, he was the most difficult guy that I bowled against, not that, there weren't some other good players, but at the same time, I also felt because of his nature that I stood a chance of getting him out a couple of times. But um, I have to say that's a little bit of hero worship as well, because I paid to watch Sachin bat in his prime. Well, you've got, you've got him out a couple of times, Bish. I never did. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't play against him often enough, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> but he certainly was a wonderful, phenomenal cricketer. I got a lot of respect for him as well. Anybody now that you think matches him? There's so, there's so many good players around the world. I mean, you look at what Virat Kohli has done. Um, in, if you're talking red ball cricket, um, Kane Williamson, Steve Smith, Joe Root, those are the guys up there. <clears throat> if you're talking guys who are destructive, you're talking about someone like a, a David Warner. If you're talking white ball cricket, I mean, there are a number of really good options around the world. Babar Azam, for example, for his consistency. Uh, the Pakistan captain uh, from the Caribbean. I think Nicholas Peran is going to be potentially an outstanding player in the world game in the shortest format. How he transcends formats is going to be something to behold. But I think Sachin Tendulkar cut his niche. Great player. I think we have to park him in that great Hall of Fame position with the likes of Lara Richards and all the guys from that generation and allow the other guys to form their own niche. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's a better white ball player than Virat Kohli in one day international cricket. He will go down as perhaps the greatest one day batsman ever simply because of his consistency. Now that's different from Kurt Lees and my captain, Sir Vivian Richards, who was the most destructive player, I yeah. believe, of our time. So everyone has a hallmark that they operate by. Chips it down!